the date today is Saturday, August 10th, and um, tomorrow I will be coming back to this website to see any new potential fires from um, this early morning lightning storm. Um, so there's three new fires from last night here in Ross Lake, Pierce Mountain Fire reported nine hours ago. Ruby Fire, reported one day and 13 hours ago, which is the um, the posting that you saw from Facebook that I screenshotted. And the third one in this area is the Rip Rap Creek Fire, reported one day and five hours ago. Additionally, there's four fires to the north of where I am, which is along the Skagit River here. Oops, sorry. Here, I am along the Skagit River, and these four fires are also brand new. Calwap Peak Fire, reported one day and four hours ago. Bear Paw Fire, reported one day five hours ago. Clean Creek Fire, one day eight hours ago. And the Canyon Creek Fire, one day eight hours ago. They're all still relatively small, <laughs> but uh, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I have positive feelings about their uh, containment. There's a lot of other fires that are taking um, attention, a lot of attention right now and resources, like the Stahican fire. Where is Lake Chelan? There. So right now this is getting pretty out of control. Um, the Pioneer Fire and the Easy Fire, which is right here, is apparently also getting out of control, but um, it's not as big as the Pioneer Fire. So, at least for the North Cascades, I'm going to take one more video tomorrow night, which you'll see as part of this video. Um, I'm taking, sorry, I'm taking one more hyperlapse video uh, tonight. To, for August 11th to see if there's a continued lightning activity. So, yeah. For reference, this is what it looks like during the daytime. Um, I'm not a pro at this, but to me, I would assume that that's a pyrocumulonimbus cloud.
Today is August 11th, and uh, it appears that no new fires have been reported since yesterday or two days ago. Um, we're just scrolling around here. These are the same fires that I showed you yesterday. Um, and this is the area, since I can zoom out a bit. Or again, this is the area where I am along the Skagit River. And my view from when I do hyperlapses is from here to probably here. So last night there weren't any dry lightning storms uh, visible from my point of view, but there could have been anywhere beyond this range moving this way. So hopefully nothing else started and it was just some uh, lightning shooting from cloud to cloud, but we'll see.